Malungil besarak eh, ungil sih sih mula bekel adal kupnos bekel makare lang. Itial program lagi tu lal sih sih ketinggal program rapi besarak ah mal muntuk kupet sih program. Ngaringi ah kami tu lomis tinggal rubah kal kim tu mukut makare lang. Itial kan mau muat itial program lagi tu ngaringi ah abu ikir belaul. Nas kura Taiwan mau soldau, mula mau mereka nas kua ka atau sel sekolah kau soldau elang ngaji ilmu ram, as sekolah ram ngar bab sekolah ram master degree ma PhD ram oceanography, ngar tiada penggela terul profesor ngaji, el profesor ngar tayang ngar sel ngar ngaji mau mau ais sedikit, ngar tiada el dia kau mau ais sel pasang ngar ngaji el tiada mukt mok mau tengar belau, amu tiada stam lebih belau. Eh, memerlukan tiap program itu orang orang, ini ya, aku memerlukan sekolah orang orang. Eh, memerlukan dengan tengah telinga orang ini ya, tiap program ah, ada yang orang ini ya, selonggi rul bal selonggi ya, presiden Johnson Tony Biong lo bangkit. El tim lagi muda semua yang ke mut makar tiang di logi leng nomor itu lemei, logi rul selonggi rul bal sah program, mungkin bangkit ada yang orang orang ah, amne kotel. El ambasador belaul mula Taiwan, mesti kita melihat Taiwan. Ia betul betul time lalbong. Ia tidak kelukuk. Adalah yang arba was kulel. Ia tidak kel mahu tahu atau kuar school. Ia lagi atau kuar school ke natau. Engkau kita lebih kel ngerti anga. Ngar school ni. Suku mengmua sel PhD ni mula aku mahu tahu ader belaul. El ngua awal tel kau tengar babel. El babier ngar school PhD ra atau kuar natau. Mat baru dalam mengkel, mesti yang ya. Ti kita memerlukan untuk orang beri kelan terlibat berkosong dalam time. Ti kalau ada, nanti terlibat merayal mak. Ti mesti alat alam sa. Kal boi ke meng di musio karang ini, di muzuli akhir tu orang belau mak. Kalau memerlukan kita mau mula program ini. Kapo. Ah, untuk time baru kalau ada orang seorang. Ang klara Vincent, Vincent abad na ako ng algal ang libang, abad na ako ng algal ang libang. Ebuig ng esar, ebuig ng esar. Okay. Mung yah this morning, you know, yah we are also, you know, we gonna speak in English, so I'm gonna, you know, ask the two professors to introduce yourself, what, why you're here, and what's your field. Of studies or teaching in Taiwan, and what school are you involved in Taiwan? Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Chin Zhang Hong. I'm from Taiwan National Sun Yat-sen University. I'm working on the oceanography and also marine science. The my main research is study blue carbon, especially in oceanic blue carbon, including carbon sink in Palau's water or Taiwan's water. And last year, we have been Palau for 40 days to study your carbon sink in your water, especially in the EEZ zone. And this year, we want to come back again in February and March to continue survey blue carbon sink because based on the definition of the blue carbon credit, we need to have the CNO carbon sink data in your water, which can be considered to count as the carbon Credit. Then, for example, one ton of the carbon dioxide market price is about 60 US dollars per ton of carbon dioxide. Then, if we know your EZ zone is about 600,000 square kilometer, then we know each each Square kilometer can take up carbon dioxide is about like several tons 
then you times the whole value, then we know how much carbon dioxide your water absorb. So roughly, we use the last year's data. You have about 100, uh, 2.8 million tons carbon dioxide created. Then the total potential price is about 170 million US dollars in your water. Wow. So this is our purpose to come back again because we want to know if the spring data different from the summer data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, Zhou Ming Li, uh, a professor from the same university, National San Yasan University in Taiwan. Uh, in the southern uh, Taiwan, the uh, weather is very like uh, Palau. Uh, it's very beautiful. I'm very enjoying in uh, the Palau. Kaohsiung? Kaohsiung? Yeah. yeah, Kaohsiung, uh, southern Taiwan. <laughs> uh, I work on the seaweed, uh, physiology, and uh, how to farm and the culture, and uh, try to uh, figure out the optimal condition uh, in the culture of the seaweed, different kind of seaweed. And uh, you know, in Taiwan, uh, several um, giant and um, the micro algae seaweed can successfully culture uh, mm -hmm. for a very long time. And uh, for the purpose to uh, estimate the carbon, blue carbon, uh, particularly for the seaweed and also the seagrass, now mm -hmm. we have, and uh, also in the world, uh, the method for the estimate the real uh, carbon uh, storage e by seaweed or seagrass is not actually uh, um, um, be quantified. And so uh, we try uh, some many um, advanced technology uh, to estimate um, the um, blue carbon uh, amount okay, from the seaweed and uh, um, we try to uh, do uh, the same thing in Palau. So uh, this trip uh, here, we would like to um, survey all around the Palau uh, to find out um, which uh, cost and uh, which area will be suitable for the farming because uh, not only the nature uh, uh, carbon source, uh, like uh, Qin Zhang Hong uh, say, um, 20 um, million ton okay, carbon. And the, uh, another way, we have to increase the carbon sink if we can uh, mm. farmer, and, uh, but we have uh, under the friendly uh, condition and the mm. environment. And uh, uh, well management and uh, policy. Mm. Uh, this is uh, what we would like to do. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, as you know, this is something new. What you're saying, and I'm trying to grasp <clears throat> what you're saying. So uh, I'm going to ask Vincent. Uh, can you, you know, since you're studying this, and uh, but give us a little background of yourself for the, our audience to look. At. Where did, you, where did you come from and how, how did you get to Taiwan and what school you went to? But don't tell them that you're from uh, Mersul in uh, Ngruik because we, we know so. <laughs> uh, so uh, I grew up uh, in Ngaropsang and uh, uh, I grew up uh, going to a public school and uh, it's growing up took up the opportunities and took uh, up uh, scholarships out there so one of the things that uh, I was really fortunate and lucky to 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 grasp was the scholarship to go to Taiwan to join the Taiwan Naval Academy it's a full full paid scholarship and um, 
it was also an opportunity to uh, uh, to have more discipline and more uh, attention to my to myself and also to what I what I think of uh, my future. So when I went to school in the Naval Academy, it made me more uh, uh, disciplined. And uh, through that, uh, when I graduated, I had an opportunity to join another scholarship uh, with uh, Professor Hong and the uh, University of uh, National Sun Yat-sen University to pursue my uh, higher degree. And uh, through that higher degree, I was able to uh, choose a, a program in uh, oceanography, which uh, focus uh, focus in the uh, ocean. And I believe that uh, the reason why I chose that uh, uh, program is because uh, I want to come back to Palau and I want to support Palau and I want to be part of the Palauan uh, youth and Palauan economy. But you got your degree in, uh, from the Naval Academy. Oh yes, I got my degree. So in you're the, mili in the military. Yes, so I'm, uh, uh, so I'm uh, in the military in Taiwan. I'm, uh, how you say, uh, uh, officer one. So it's a uh, it's a uh, ensign in the naval naval term you say uh, ensign officer, so it's the lowest level of uh, officer, but it's the beginning of the officer level. So if you go into like Taiwan military, you will be an officer. If if, if I join the yeah. navy, yeah, yeah. Okay. and I got my bachelor's degree in uh, marine science. Marine science okay. yeah. in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Same university. Same university. So these are uh, Maldi is all related to Palau because I believe uh, Palau is an ocean country yeah. and it's, uh, it's something that uh, maybe I can contribute as uh, something that I have interest in. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Congratulations. And then you went straight into uh, this master uh, PhD program. Yeah, and then from my when I joined the master's program, uh, the university has a joint program where you can do uh, dual uh, programs in one time to finish your PhD. So I directly transferred from master's to PhD program. So this is uh, directly towards my PhD program and uh, I'll graduate uh, hopefully by next year. Well, mm -hmm. next year summer I'll be able to, well, hopefully I'll be able to graduate. Oh, and then mm -hmm. uh, with the help of my professor, uh, we hope to come back again many times. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so you, you came here uh, you were here in July of uh, last year? Yes, uh, we came here on uh, the beginning of uh, July, and then we left out to do our research around the Palau waters in uh, EEZ, and the uh, professor uh, has estimated uh, four locations where we can uh, collect uh, deep water sediments. So there's, uh, there's uh, 150 meters, 500 meters, and 1,000 meters. So uh, these are some of the depths that we collect uh, sinking uh, particles mm. yeah, or sinking sediments. So. so can you explain this carbon thing that they were talking about? Uh, you know, uh, how do you know what to use this for? And what's, what a, what's a carbon? Yeah, what, what, and for what? Yeah. Oh, so um, the reason why we want to. Uh, uh, know about carbon and how much carbon is being uh, stored or sinked into the deep ocean is because uh, uh, now it's uh, you know through global warming uh, through the climate change uh, there's the rise of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere so like uh, when cars or uh, factories produce a lot of uh, uh, CO2 it has a lot of uh, carbon inside and uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, absorber of or uh, biggest uh, uh, contributors to take in carbon is uh, actually the ocean. So the open ocean actually pro takes in uh, lots of lots of carbon. About one fourth. One fourth of the carbon in the whole atmosphere. carbon <laughs> Mm. So it's gas. Gas. In the ocean, it tries to take the carbon, absorbs it. Absorbs oh, it. Okay. Explain it. Yeah, yeah. I explain. Uh, I think the carbon dioxide is a kind of gas. When we gas, yeah. drive a car, we need to add the gasoline. Then, after 
drive the car, the gasoline will produce CO, carbon dioxide, we call CO2. It's a kind of the gas. They will That's stay. The same thing that the trees absorb. Yes. Okay. yes. Same then, yes. if one year the global, the whole Earth produce about 10.6 gigaton, Giga. one giga is Giga. equal to 10 to 9 ton. The weight. The weight, weight. carbon dioxide. Mm. So each year produce 10.6 gigaton. Then about 5 gigaton carbon dioxide will stay in the atmosphere. The tree or earth can absorb about 3 gigaton. What percentage? About 25% to 30%. The ocean. the ocean can take up about another 25 to 30% mm -hmm. of the carbon dioxide. Then three, everybody understand they convert the CO2 mm -hmm. to the wood, wood hard part. Mm -hmm. But in the water, the phytoplankton or mangrove or seaweed convert the carbon dioxide to the, we call the phytoplankton cell, very tiny, then you can understand it's like a fish, they need to eat the tiny mm. zooplankton. Then zooplankton eat the phytoplankton. So every day, the phytoplankton take up the carbon dioxide via photosynthesis they can convert the CO2, inorganic CO2, to the organic part, like the tiny seaweed or the phytoplankton, which we cannot see. Then mm. this we call the ocean carbon sink. Tank. Ta uh, sink. sink. Think means they, they take ocean, the carbon ocean. dioxide. Yeah, it absorbs yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Another one is the ocean also can take up the carbon dioxide. That we drink the carbonate soda. When you open the carbonate soda, put, mm -hmm. that means the air bubble, bubble out. Mm -hmm. Then if the water is getting warmer, like in the summertime, the carbon dioxide will release to the atmosphere mm -hmm. away uh, uh, affect our climate change. Like our Earth is getting warmer. We call uh, global warming. Global warming. Mm -hmm. Then if the ocean take up more carbon dioxide, then carbon dioxide can be stored in the deep water. Then deep water is very, very cold. So, so they, it's difficult to back to the atmosphere. So the carbon dioxide can stay in the water for several, several hundred years, mm -hmm. which can largely reduce impact of the Quite carbon change. dioxide in the atmosphere. You place the value at 100 million. The, is that a marketable value? Yeah, because the whole ocean area is about 360 million square kilometer. It's about the whole ocean area account for roughly 70% of the Earth's surface. Mm. Our Earth, only 29% are, no, are Earth. So Another seventy-one percent are water. Water. Yeah. Oh. So that means the water yes. is very huge, and uh, on average, water depth global is about three thousand seven hundred meter deep. So that means it's a huge reservoir can put everything in the water. Then they can store more carbon dioxide. You, you place the value of our carbon oh. 
it's a hundred million. What's why? Is it's that a marketable value or what? Why do we have the value? One the, the price is uh, just, a just a estimate. Estimation. It's just an yeah. estimation of the okay. price. The market value is uh, around sixty uh, sixty dollars per ton, but uh, the price value changes between uh, countries to countries. So uh, there's no unified unified uh, set value for the price of carbon, but there is a market for carbon. So uh, is per that ton. saleable? You can sell it. Uh, if there's if there's uh, in the, you can sell it if there's input of of uh, right. input of uh, input of uh, carbon into the ocean which increases carbon to the ocean that will be sellable. Mm -hmm. Other other it ways needs to be because now many we call company or the factory they produce a lot of the carbon dioxide especially in the North Hemisphere country, mm -hmm. they burn a lot of the gasoline and the coal. Mm -hmm. They generate power. So they want to do some, we call the ESG. Then they need to cut the carbon dioxide emission. Mm -hmm. But their job is to generate energy. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have the land or the ocean. So they want other countries can help to cut the carbon dioxide emission. Mm. Well, Vincent, mm. uh, as I usually say when heavy subject like this, it just flies over. So I mean, it's hard for me to, to consume and understand this. And I'm sure the Palawan people, our listeners are kind of wondering, what is this? Uh, so it's gonna take you another time to come. I think we need some more time. Yes. And then, uh, so before you leave, I invite you to come because this uh, professors, what they've uh, described, yes, very important. Thank so you. next time when you come, please explain because this is really something new to me. And I'm sure, even though he has a law of C degree, uh, yeah, it's, it's new and especially this pricing and stuff like that. I'm listening. So can we do turn that into like we sell that? Or, and then, because we have, we have problems with budget now and, and all that, so I mean, uh, my thinking is that uh, you know, uh, this can be done. Uh, you know. uh, we, I think we will just concentrate on the research part of the blue carbon, yes. and now uh, we just uh, give this information uh, maybe to our government and our leaders, and uh, they can uh, they make from from that they can make the decision. So, yeah. what are you going to do like while you're here uh, this time? Oh, um, now we just want to. Uh, come and just uh, visit Palau. Uh, we're only going to be here for one week. Yes. We'll be leaving next week on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we'll come back again uh, with the research vessel, Legend, from Taiwan. Uh -huh. okay. because, because we need to go to the UN or the Red Cup 28, mm -hmm. but they say every country need to have their own data, mm -hmm. scientific data. Mm -hmm. If we don't have the scientific data, no one knows how much carbon dioxide you release to the atmosphere or you take up to your by your tree or by the ocean mm. okay yeah so long. thank you very much i'm sorry we don't have much time but uh, you come again before you leave thank you. And this is very important and our next guest uh, also is some somebody who's uh, kind of i think knows about your program so we yes. want to ask uh, him so thank you very much and welcome to Palau. Thank you.